guys, it's Julia here, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make the Windows 11 taskbar much better. Now, the main reason why I didn't want to upgrade to Windows 11 is for many reasons, mainly due to the lack of taskbar customization. As you can see, that the taskbar seems really tall. You can't move these tray icons around. So I'm going to show you guys in the taskbar settings right here. So if I go to the behaviors, the taskbar alignment is either center or left. You can't do anything else with it. Also, you can't make the taskbar icon smaller. You can't move your taskbar to the top or the left. It's stuck in the bottom position. And I just feel like Windows 11 is lacking stuff. Like you can't right click the taskbar and get to task manager anymore like you could in Windows 10. And it's just those things are just really bugging me. So pretty much in this video, there is a program that I had discovered because I was browsing Twitter and there is something called Start is Back. Now we've all heard of Start is Back, but there is a beta version for Windows 11 build 22000, which will be the build released. Now before doing this, be sure to check your Winver on your system if you're on Windows 11 and make sure that it's a newer dot number. The newer one is dot 184, which was released today. But I have seen bugs with the older dot numbers where Explorer will just keep crashing over and over. So be sure you are fully up to date on this. And be sure you're not on a dev build because the dev builds are not supported by this. Which is now like 22452 I think. So be sure that you're not on that. And be sure that you're on 22000. So... Basically in this, it contains the classic taskbar with all the, you know, the features, revamped icons and round corners, the co classic context menus, the classic Windows 7 start menu, and improved explorer, and it also improved a lot of things, like the notification area, like, I'm, like I mentioned, was the issue before. Now note that there are issues with it, like don't roll back to 10 when it's installed, otherwise it could break, and don't install start is back plus plus on this version either, because it will break. And, you know, some things may not work as expected. Also, be sure to know that this is only active until November 2021, because start is back is a paid program. It does cost like $4, but because it's the beta, I guess it's not paid yet. So this will work for you for two months before it stops working. However, I probably will end up buying this if I do upgrade to Windows 11 because I feel like this is a must have. So we're gonna download this and I'm gonna briefly go over because the last time I recorded this video, it was like 15 minutes and I don't want it to be that long, which is why I'm redoing it. So if I do miss some things, I apologize. So I'm just gonna install it for all the users. It will require admin, but even though I'm the only user, I'd rather just install it on all of them. But if you have multiple users and they don't want it, then I wouldn't do that. So you can see that it installed, it opens up the start is back configuration. You can see it already looks a lot better. You can see that these icons are separate now. You can actually move them around if you want to and you have the old action center back. However, it will sh still show the newer notification area because as you know, there's nothing you could really do to change that. So there's the proper Windows 11 with all the round and all the flyouts and there's kind of Windows 10 where it has some of the Windows 10 flyouts, like this one. However, if I click the network one, you can see it's the Windows 8 style one because I guess they couldn't put the Windows 10 style one in there and they still left the 8 style one in. And if I click the clock, you can see that it is the old Windows 10 clock, which I find cool, however, it seems circular, but that's actually pretty cool. So there's that. And then there's the remastered Windows 7, which you know, looks a lot like 7. You can see even the start menu looks a lot like 7. We'll show the other start menus in a bit. If I click network, it's still the Windows 8 style. The sound, though, is the Windows 7 style. The The clock is actually showing the, w the Windows 7 style, which is interesting because normally you couldn't even get this in a newer version of Windows 10. And the notification area is always going to stay the same with the newer calendar and the newer notification area because that can never be changed. But I'm going to switch it back to this one. So if you, if you go through here, actually, you can see this is actually the newer Windows 11 start menu. It has like the rounded corners and it's like hovering. And then if I go to the Windows 10 one, you can see that it's more like, it's not like rounded and all that, but it still looks really good. Now, I usually just will set it to this for now. Pretty much, we can go here to taskbar and you can see that you can change the you can change the start button. You can change the icon size. I can set it to small, so now we have a small taskbar. 
and that's great if you want a small taskbar because you normally can't do that on 11. You can choose what flyouts you want, so like if you want the Windows 11 look but you still want the 10 flyouts, you can actually do that. Well, this one's obviously not a 10 flyout, but you could still do that, which I find pretty cool. You can switch these around and do whatever you want, kind of like a mix and match thing. You can choose whatever settings you want, which is what I really like. You can center the icons. You could do dynamic transparency, which is pretty cool. So like if you move it close to it, you can kind of see the, the taskbar coming back there. And segments looks really cool. I would recommend this for if you have the centered icons. Now if I go back here and switch themes, because it's more noticeable, you can see the segments a lot better, which I actually really like that, but I'm gonna turn these off for now. And you can have the icon centered if you want. And Explorer is great because you can actually change the way Explorer is. So you can have the Windows 11 looking Explorer with all the new buttons. Ribbon is like the Windows 10 looking Explorer. And you can have Windows 7, which is more like the Windows 7 looking Explorer. And me personally, I prefer Ribbon. I like the way Windows 10 did Explore. I got used to it over time. I'm not used to the Windows 11 Explore yet. So this lets you actually change the Explore type, which is pretty cool. And then you could change, you can have the classic search. So now it's not gonna use the UWP search. It's gonna use, you know, the built-in one, which is the older style search. You can have the enhanced title bar, the enhanced classic context menus, which is the most useful thing because I can right click in here and you can see it is the older context menus, but it has that newer look, which is kind of cool. So I can even do that on the desktop and you can see that I can go to the personalize here and I can click things, I can create like a new folder, I can do all that. And best of all, I can right click the taskbar and get to task manager now. So I find that really useful that I can finally, you know, get to task manager like that. And if I, and the taskbar is not locked, so I can move the taskbar at the top and you can see it's at the top now. I can move it to the left, I can move it to the right. But when you have it at the top, there's something you need to know that the Windows 11 flyouts will break. Well, that one doesn't break, but if you try to click like sound or network, it's completely, you know, broken, it's cut off. So I would recommend if you're gonna have your taskbar at the top to use the Windows 10 flyouts because it won't break that way. And you, and this one won't break, well actually that's the Windows 10 one, this one won't break, it'll just be at the bottom instead of the top. But you know, it's not really their fault that it can't be perfect, it's the fact of the way Windows 11 is, but they are trying their best to make this work. And plus, this is a beta, so maybe they will figure out how to, you know, fix it over time. So, yeah, your explore settings, your advanced settings, you can change, like, your, you know, start menu and taskbar coloring and other settings. And the about will say, yes, it does expire in November 2021. They may have new previews released over time. I'll leave a link in the description to this so that you can download it if you're on Windows 11. Or if you do plan to upgrade to 11 and you want to be able to have you know, the taskbar actually better. And you see when you right click, you can even, you know, sh turn off like show search and widgets and task view. You can edit all of that here. And I could just lock the taskbar so now I can't move it. So yeah, that's pretty much all I'm gonna show. I don't wanna make the video any longer because last time I recorded this video, it ended up being 15 minutes. So it's, we're almost close to the 10 minute mark. So I'm gonna end it here. If I missed anything, which I don't think I missed anything, I think I explained it better this time actually, but you could just, you know, go through the settings and adjust what you want, like, oh, what you want on the start menu and, you know, all the settings for that. You can even have the XP style where it has the menu, which is interesting and if you don't like to search and stuff, but I prefer the search. You could change, like, the button here for, like, if you want it to shut down or do something else, but... Yeah, I might want to change this back because I accidentally set that to small earlier when I clicked the wrong one. Anyways, I will leave the link in the description to this. Note that if you're watching this video in the future, the final version may be out. And this program does cost $4 for one computer. And I think it's like there's other prices for more than one computer as well. But I will say this, I'm probably going to buy this. Now this isn't a sponsored video or anything, I just saw this and thought this is a very useful thing for you guys to check out if you're on Windows 11 because a lot of people had issues with the taskbar. So this is a fix to all my problems because this is really the only issue I had with Windows 11 to begin with. So I might actually consider upgrading now that this exists. Anyways, thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoy that and bye bye for now.